Uh, kilicho muhimu zaidi kuweza kusema kuhusu majadiliano yale ambayo yanaendelea ni kwamba sisi kama wajumbe wa Kenya kwanza ni wanademokrasia na tukiwa wanademokrasia kwanza tunatambua eh, vitengo vyote na idara na sisi zote ambazo zimebuniwa kidemokrasia ofisi ambazo zipo ni ofisi zimebuniwa kikatiba kumaanisha kwamba kama ni ofisi ya rais rais yuko ofisini kikatiba na amechaguliwa kikatiba tumefanya tume uchaguzi na asisi ambazo ni husika asisi kama vile tume ya uchaguzi iliweza kudhibitisha kwamba William Ruto ndiye rais waliokuwa na pingamizi waliweza kwenda kwenye asisi ambazo zina, zina, zina husika na hayo maneno ikiwemo koti e, la upeo la nchi hii ambayo ni Supreme Court na hiyo Supreme Court iliweza kutoa e, uamuzi wake kumaanisha kwamba kama ni masuala ya kidemokrasia na ni masuala ya legitimacy rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya ni William Samoei Arap Ruto lakini kama wana demokrasia tunajua kwamba democracy husema kwamba majority have their way and the minority have their say ndio kwa maana unaona kwamba kuna mazungumzo ambayo yanaendelea sisi kama wajumbe wa Kenya kwanza tunasema mazungumzo yakiendelea tuweze kujiweka ndani ya midhini ya kidemokrasia kunazo asisi ambazo zinahusika ikiwa kuna masuala ambayo yanahusiana na e, sheria yaletwe bungeni tutaweza kujadi, kuyajadili kule na kulingana na merit ama demerit yake tutaweza kufanya yale ambayo yanafaa ikiwa ni mambo ya kubuni IBC kunazo njia za kupitia hayo mazungumzo dakika ya mwisho yataleta haya mazungumzo kule bungeni na wabunge watafanya uamuzi ikiwa ni kubuni ofisi ya upinzani ije kule bungeni hata rais mwenyewe ashajitaja amesema kwamba kunayo nafasi ya upinzani kuweza ku, ku, kuleta eh, ama kuikosoa eh, serikali so tunacho kisema ni kwamba mazungumzo haya yafanyike kwenye midhini ya kisheria midhini ya kikatiba na midhini ya kidemokrasia chochote ambacho haki, hakiwiani na sheria ama katiba hicho hakitakubalika haita haita haijalishi jinsi ambavyo mazungumzo yataenda ikiwa jambo linakinzana na sheria ama katiba hilo haliwezi likakubalika kwa hivyo njia hii ambayo ni ya mazungumzo inakubalika lakini ifanyike katika eh, midhini ya kisheria ya kikatiba na pia ya kidemokrasia what there is to say about uh, the ongoing talks is that there are institutions and bodies that are created uh, constitutionally and if we are talking about the general election of 2022 the bodies that are mandated to oversee the election did their job the IBC did its job within the law they declared a presidential uh, winner and those who were not satisfied with the declaration took it to where it needs to be taken constitutionally they took it to the highest court of the land a court that pronounced itself on the election of 2022 beyond that anything else is extra constitutional and that is why we are saying even with the bipartisan talks they need to happen within the confines of the law the confines of the constitution and the confines of the provisions and ideals of democracy and democracy states that those who are the majority will have their way and the minority may ha the, 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 those who are the majority will have their way and the minority may have their say so these con uh, bipartisan talks will only bear fruit if they are done within the confines of the law so much so that if there are issues that have to do with um, legislation let them find themselves they will find their way to the floor of the house and that is why as Kenya Kwanza we have nominated no less than the leader of majority in parliament to be the leader of these bipartisan talks so that whatever it is that is discussed in these rooms will find its way to the constitutionally mandated body for legislation which is parliament so the leader of, of, of the leader of majority is uh, is representing Kenya Kwanza first 
as a people's representative, secondly as a representative of the Kenya Kwanza coalition, but thirdly also as a leader of majority in parliament, where if it is found fit that there is a need for an uh, office of the leader of opposition, then that is a legislative issue. It will come to parliament and it shall be debated on the merits or demerits of the proposal. And out of the debate, the House, in its own wisdom and motion, will make the decision that needs to be done. And if it calls for a legislative amendment, that will happen within the confines of the body mandated to make legislation. Yes, thank you. Thank you.